So basically, guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a hole in one in every single hole in Rec Room Disc Golf Flake. And yeah, basically, that's all we're really doing in this video. We're just going to be showing the positions that you need to score a hole in one in every single hole in Disc Golf Flake. Except there's a couple disclaimers we need to cover before we can do this. First of all, the first disclaimer is when I say every hole, I mean not absolutely every hole because actually every hole except the last one because we're pretty much getting the albatross on the last one like I'll show you the position so it's pretty much on the last hole it's going to be like two shots but you're getting the albatross so you know because there's no real way to actually just throw it and then get a hole in one and I'm not sure if there's any lower scores you can get than albatross anyhow but it doesn't really matter because that's what we're pretty much covering is how to get the albatross on the last one since you can't really get I don't think you can get a hole in one really so yeah the other disclaimer is that basically this is for screen mode players so console PC and mobile uh, on Oculus and PSVR, this isn't going to work the same way because this is like hand tracking basically. It, it, well, in VR, it's hand, it tracks your hand and so whatever way you kind of throw it in real life and swing your hand, it's kind of how it goes in VR so this isn't really going to be the tutorial for you if you are a VR player. So just be aware of that. Anyway, without further ado guys, let's get into the video or tutorial, whatever you want to call it. So on hole number one, guys, um, keep in mind that you need to have your crosshair kind of positioned like mine and, like, just around how it is. So, anyway, you guys kind of already get the point. Uh, anyway, let's start. So in the first one, the first hole, now this is generally easy, but it, if you guys still need help with it, here's how you do it. So put your crosshair, your, cross, your crosshair has to be in the middle of the beam. Uh, like in the middle, not like as in like in the middle like this, but just in the middle of the beam like this. Like it can't be out of the beam a little bit or anything. It needs to be in the middle. So put it up to like right here. And I know you guys aren't going to get like the exact pixel obviously, but have it like around here. Don't have it too much higher than this or too much lower or you're not going to get it. So have it like your crosshair in the middle of the beam and like around this point. And um, anyway... Hold your, you have to hold your disc down for like three seconds in every one of these holes, guys, keep in mind, and I've been holding it down for more, three sec more than three seconds just because, you know. So have your disc held down for three or more seconds before throwing it so you can get like it full force and, because you don't want to like instantly throw it or else it's not going to go over there. Keep that in mind. Uh, and then just release it and you're going to get a hole in one. And like that, you get a hole in one. So, that's hole number one for you guys. For hole number two, guys, you guys need to have, you guys need to have it, like, the same way, pretty much, except the crosshair a little lower, but you still need the crosshair to be in the middle, so the positioning is about, like, kind of, like, right here. Not too much higher, not too much lower, of course, keep it down for three seconds, and remember not to go too much higher, too much lower than this. Throw it. And get the hole in one just like that guys and simply that is hole one and hole two so far so hole three guys is a little harder than hole one and hole two because you guys want to get it in the bonus now you don't have to but if you guys want to get a better score you might as well get in the bonus anyway like the bonus loop bonus strike anyway so what you guys got to do is uh you guys need to have this a little higher because obviously it's farther away have it around the middle of the hole beam like like okay don't have the crosshair in the literal middle. I'm talking about like from like up and down, have it in the middle. Because the actual crosshair so needs to be like on the side a little bit. So have it like in the middle like this. Alright? So that's pretty much the middle. And then your crosshair actually needs to be a little off to the side. Basically, your crosshair needs to be like half in the beam, half out of the beam. And also, don't throw your disc until the bonus strike hoop or loop, whatever you want to call it, is... Like, since it goes up and down, throw it when it's down, not up. Because if you throw it when it's up, there's, uh, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get the bonus strike. Because if you're too low, it's not going to count it, apparently. So, hold it for three seconds or more. Throw it. Throw it. 
and you're going to get the albatross which uh it's not it's like a basically the albatross is better than a hole in one it's when you get like an extra point past the hole in one basically so in that case it's not a hole in one it's an albatross but it's pretty much still like a hole in one just a little better for hole number four guys you kind of need it to be again in the middle of the beam like right here or like maybe like a little lower than that like around right here now it's kind of like the same thing as the last one except you don't want your, you want your, uh, well, actually, you kind of do want it to be half and half, so. Anyway, so, like, have it in the middle of the beam. So, this is pretty much like the last one, but without the bonus hoop. So, hold it down for three seconds or more. Throw it. And you should get a hole in one. Just like that. Hole in one. On hole five, guys, you need to put your cursor in the middle again. You're back to being in the middle. Uh... And really, you don't have to put it up that high because it's like right there. Uh, so you really just need—you don't even need to have it in like you need to have it in the part where the beam's kind of faded. So like right here, basically, is a good spot. Hold it on for three seconds or more. Throw it, and you should get a hole in one. For hole six, guys, you need to. Uh, this is a little harder because this is not like a—you're not going to throw it. You're, this actually takes two shots. As well as the last one, except this time it's still going to be called a hole in one because you're getting it through the bonus hoop. Anyway, so uh, now you need to like kind of position where you need it at the bonus hoop. So have it like around, like here, like, like it's kind of like a length of a bonus hoop, like two bonus hoops and a half of one. So like, say say like that bonus hoop right there, you see. Like, kind of like two, and then like another like quarter of one, or something like that. Have it like around here, like you guys see. And then you need to hold it down for three seconds or more. Throw it, and it should go in the bo bonus hoop. So, went through, through the bonus hoop. Come back. Pick it up. And from here, you should just be able to like throw it from like right here. And that'll still end up going in. But make sure you're crosshair is still in the middle and you should get the hole in one again hole seven guys so this one is where you need to have it at the highest point this one's a little hard as well but uh like a part of it's hard so have it about like right here where the uh beams starting to fade away basically or where it's almost gone so have it like right here and then don't put it like ha like kind of have it like not quite halfway i mean that could work but i don't know that's kind of where it's like a little iffy so have it like a just not that much out at all just a little bit out and this is kind of halfway basically but just have it kind of like as you see just not like not quite in the middle of the beam but it's a little out of the beam so then hold it down for three seconds throw it And then, if I'm correct, or my calculations are correct, it will be a hole in one, as you guys saw right there. Hole eight. It needs to be, this is where it's in the middle again. So, around right here in the middle. And it's really simple like that. It's just around right here. Hold it down for three seconds. Or more. And then just throw it out there. And you should get a hole in one. Simple like that. Last but not least, the final hole. Now, like I said, in this one, it's not going to be necessarily a hole in one. It's actually going to be an albatross, but it's going to take two throws. So, for the first shot you guys want to take, you guys want to have it, like, almost at the very top. Or, like, you can have it at the very top if you really want to. Uh, you don't really need it to be in the middle. Like, it doesn't matter if it's in the middle or a little off to the sides. Just don't do it too much like this or something. Just, I, if I were you, I'd just keep it in the middle. Uh, hold it on for three seconds or more, especially for this one since it's a lot farther. And throw it. And there you guys go. As it, as you see, it goes over there. Now, like I said, it doesn't get a like you don't get a hole in one. So it it should stop if you guys had it like around there. It should stop like up against the fence, kinda, or like it should like be like from like right here to like right up against the fence and yeah so grab your disc now it looks like you can just simply throw it in the middle actually you don't want to do that so first of all 
now you have to aim at the pole this time, not the actual beam. So on the pole, you need to have it like almost at the tippy top. And don't have it straight in the middle because if I learned that if you have it straight in the middle, it actually goes off to this side a little bit for some reason. So have it straight in the middle. Well, don't have it, but like have it straight in the middle at first and then kind of go off to the side like this much. Hold it on for three seconds. And the reason you want it to be at the tippy top is otherwise it's going to hit the fence. Throw it and you should get the albatross. And final score is minus 19, as you guys see there. So, yeah, you that's win. how to get a hole in one and albatrosses in the full game. I'm gonna go to my dorm room in a minute and we're gonna do the outro. So, there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope this video helps you guys for scoring in Disc Golf Lake. Now, if you are a VR player, like I said, you can. I didn't say you could try, actually, which you can, obviously. But uh, if you guys have a good way of, like, this could work on VR. If you guys have a good way of, like, trying to, like, throw it straight, if you guys are on VR and you can do that, then, yeah, in that case, this should be able to help you out. I'm just saying it, it, this would be, obviously, a lot harder to do on VR, as when you throw the disc in VR, it, the disc kind of, like, curves, so it's not, like, straight like it is on screen. That's why I said this isn't like a VR type of thing. But anyway, if you are a screen player, you guys should have no problem doing this. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video.